Okay, so position versus motion. So I'm going to talk about this in respect to the pelvis, as this is the one I see most commonly misinterpreted. So if we have a client who is in an anterior tilt, so the pelvis is anteriorly rotated as a position, a lot of people will perceive this to be, right, this is the cause of your back pain, but this is just a position, okay? I would be way more inclined to go and look at motion over position. So, right, you're positioned here, but how do you move? Okay, how can that pelvis move in three-dimensional space? How does the spine move? How do the hips move? The position is just anterior tilt. That doesn't necessarily dictate it's going to hurt. The common misconception with this is, right, someone's in an anterior tilt. So, right, if we tighten the abdominals, then we decrease that anterior tilt. But if we're already here in this anterior tilted position, generally we presume that extension will be the limitation because the lumbar spine is already in extension. Therefore, we're going to run out of room and the facet joints will close down on each other too much. But if I come into a posterior tilt, or tighten my abdominals or my core, or whatever you want to call it, to take that stress off, will I have that extension motion? Probably not. To do this, I've got to tighten up my abdominal muscles, but to go into extension, my abdominal muscles need to be able to lengthen to let me go back into that position. If they're already working to keep me here, there's no way I can move from that. So the conception there is, right, the position is a problem. Let's change the position. In some cases, if we change the position, maybe the motion gets better. But I would always look to the motion you're trying to get and how they're getting it. Is that position affecting the motion? Not just, right, I see someone in an anterior tilt, let's change that anterior tilt because that's not how the body works. We need to look at it in a movement-based scenario. What does our patient need to be able to do? How can we get them better at moving rather than how can we make the position look what we perceive to be aesthetically better?